Whenever you see someone who is well-known, a celebrity perhaps, someone who's quite famous, you'll notice generally that there is a bodyguard with them. We take a look and we see the president or the vice president or really anyone of, of higher ranking office is generally surrounded by bodyguards to protect them, to guard them, and to keep them safe. These individuals are generally known as being on the A-list. And because of their importance in society and in the world, they need to be protected because there are many who want to cause them harm, great harm, bodily harm, fatal harm. It is no difference, my dear friends of Christ, for you and for me in this life. No, we are not famous. No, we're not celebrities in the eyes of this world. But nevertheless, God sees us on his A-list because he wants for us eternal salvation. And so he gives us, you and me, each of us, a distinct bodyguard, if you will. Really, it's a body and soul guard. And that is our personal guardian angel never repeated ever in the history of humanity. Every individual has a distinct, unique guardian angel who watches over, protects, and guides us. Because in God's eyes, we are a celebrity, and he wants eternal life for us. Because there are many in this world, one in particular, who sends his minions to cause us harm, bodily harm, spiritual harm, because he wants nothing less for us than fatal harm, eternal damnation. But God, in his love and in his mercy, to cast this vile spirit of evil, this Satan, from us, he gives us a body and soul guard, our guardian angel, to protect and to guide us and to keep us safe. We, however, must cooperate with the guidance of that guardian angel. Let us, you and me, pray that we will be given the grace by the Holy Spirit to follow the promptings of our guardian angel, our personal body and soul guard given to us by God. Because my dear friends of Christ, all those who are in heaven, are on God's A-list. And you and I want to be in heaven, don't we? Then you and I, we need to listen to our guardian angel, we need to follow its promptings, and we need, above all, to pray with our guardian angel that we can do all things, all things with Christ, who gives us strength. So, saints in the making, let us pray that we might follow the guardian angel who protects and guides us, and that should we ever think to follow our own will, then instead let's remember our guardian angel is there, and for our guardian angel we need to make space for grace.